I've been mean, angry. What have I dragged in my house that has me like this? Who have I let touch me that's broken me to the point where I can't even hear the voice of God? I can't even see his glory because I'm stuck. I done lost my focus. What have we allowed? Thieves. Thieves in the temple. In your body, on your body, around your body. What have you done? But there is hope. There is hope. Yes, Lord. There is hope. There is one more other thing. One more other thing that destroys them all. Make all of them seem weak and that's unforgiveness. Don't you know that the mind replays what the heart cannot forget? Over and over and over again. Creating his own ideas of situations that may, may or may not even have taken place. Yeah. So we walk around with the spirit of unforgiveness. How is that possible? Because we use it as a defense mechanism. But it's in the book. It's word. It's what how the Bible says do not forsake the assembly of other believers. Mm-hmm. They are here to cover you. Mm-hmm. And God gives you the discernment to know who is who. Amen. Amen. Yeah, there may be some ghosts amongst the sheep. But God gives you the discernment to know who is who. Yeah. Who I can talk to about this. Who I can't talk to about. God will not leave you. Leave you down. He will not leave you where you will not understand what's going on. But I'm, t- I'm here to tell you that the Spirit of God is calling out all the saints. And it's telling you, you have to give the devil what Jesus gave him. The Bible says in Psalms 1 and 1. Shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like a chaff which the wind drives away. Word. That's what. That's what Jesus gave. Every time he came against him, he gave him word. James four and seven says, "Resist the devil, he will flee away from you." All you gotta, man, you gotta get up out my. I got word. I got word. That's all you have to do. You got to give him back. But if you don't have no word in you. He's going to tell you apart. But there's hope. Jesus said, I stand at the door and knock. Then he goes on to say, he who believeth on me, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. If you look at the suffix of the word, believe, the E-T-H means repetitious. It means an, 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 an unsurmountable, innumerable amount of time. That means that when it don't look right, I have to believe and believe and believe when it don't seem right I have to believe and I have to believe and I have to believe even when I want to quit I have to believe and I have to believe and I have to believe even when I get tired I have to believe I have to believe I have to believe that's when you don't give up that's when you know you have the spirit of God when you don't you don't I don't want to give up I don't want to give up I don't want to give up because I know it's something on the other side so I'm going to keep on believing and believing and man sometimes it get bad when you say this I don't know what to do, but I'm going to keep believing and believing and believing because I know it's got to keep believing and believing and believing until one day I'm going to say, you know what? I believed all the way until it doesn't happen. And even if it doesn't happen, I'm like, David, you may not, but I still know you can. You may not, but I still know you can. And I'm going to stand, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to stand flat footed and I'm going to say, like Joshua said, when they still want to be silly, Joshua 24 and 15 says, but as for me and my house, yeah. as for me and my temple, we will serve the Lord. Yes. And I pray that this bless somebody. Yes. It's going it's to it's it's really, really help you out. If you have to understand who the enemy is. Because we first have to identify who he is. If you don't know him, if you can't see him, then how can you fight him? Yeah. You have to identify who he is. The Bible says that he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. That means that he comes to kill your purpose, yeah. to steal your joy, and to destroy your family. Yeah. 
I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to stand up and I'm going to fight. Yeah. Yeah.